Oh, hey, Brad. Hi, Dan. Do you remember a while back in one of these game shows we see all the time, uh, they showed up Project Spark? My memory is only about 48 hours long, I'm sorry. Okay, well that was a thing that happened. Okay. And now that game has quietly been released. Alright. So that's what we're looking at here. Um, it's time to select your champion. I, I can buy Avalon, I oh. don't want to. Uh, I'll probably talk a decent amount about what you have to buy in this game, because mm. it, it is a free download. Uh, so you can download it and dink around with some stuff and play some community Smart levels and things. This is for the Xbox One. It is for the Xbox One. Yes. Um, this is... I got the starter pack, which is $39.99. Okay. And it comes with, like, a collection of things you can create with. It also comes with these, like, single-player kind of episodic quests and stuff. So I'm going to show you first, before I get into the creation stuff, just kind of what the gameplay is like. And the, to be clear, the starter pack is not a required thing. No, you can download it for free. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're going to be limited as far as what you can do. And even with the starter pack, I found it's uh, kind of concerningly limited. Mm. Um, so it is a starter pack. Uh, it says it right there. Th that is name. true. It is a starter pack. Um, I was initially really intrigued by this because I always liked the idea of games that you know push you know creation elements a lot. Like Little Big Planet, I was fascinated by one and two. Um, did, you actually, did you actually make a lot in a little bit of planning? You know, or? I went through all the tutorials. I spent many, many hours dinking around with stuff. I never wound up making like a functioning, uh, awesome level or whatever. I more just kind of experimented with things. Like I made a go kart, and then I had like it looked like my own head because of the PlayStation camera, and I'd press a button and it would fart, and the go kart would drive around. That sounds about right. Yeah, so I, I had that working all right, and made a little gas come out the back and everything. Um, but yeah, never anything that I was like proud to upload and show off. But I think it's so impressive that like in games like this and Little Big Planet, that even if a fraction of one percent of the community really digs in deep and, and creates stuff, it can be really interesting to see what people yep. do with it. I am I am in the ninety nine percent. Oh, I, I firmly am too. I just, I just want to download cool stuff that other people and have made. I do too, and I like the idea of replayability. If it's done well, because something like Little Big Planet, you can load up. For 15 minutes, you know, once a month, and be like, oh, I wonder what the top rated, you know, coolest new custom made thing is. Oh, look at, have you noticed some of the frame rate stuff going yeah, on? Yeah, it's not running super well. No, it really doesn't, which is That's a shame. confusing because it doesn't look like it should be super taxing. No. Um, but yeah, it, it's more, I like the idea of, of what these creation modes offer more than like I actually like dinking around with them myself. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. The thing is, this I, I went through this whole story mode. I beat this whole thing. Uh, it's a lot of this walking from thing to thing while a guy is just talking constantly over it. Like, well, there was a festival, and then oh, she needed to find a pair or something, you know. So it's and this is not great, uh, you know. It, it yeah. Was, yeah. So yeah, this is the Champions Quest Void Storm. This is the. Uh, you can buy this on its own. Or oh, good. Right. I've got a legendary shotgun that's got void damage on it, so oh, we, sh we should be set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What video game are you referring to, Brad uh, Shoemaker? Project Spark. Oh, okay. Hang right. on. I, I didn't just, know you've been playing. All right. I just need to collect like five more helium filaments, and we'll be good. Oh, I don't think I found any of those. Mm. No. There are a lot of coins in this. Okay. Yeah. That might work too. Yeah, lots of them. I mean, is this campaign stuff basically just a tutorial to set you up for the creation, or is it? Not so much. So is this meant to be, or is this more of an example of what you could make with? I think this is an example of like what's possible. Okay. If you, man, you would have to spend a lot of time to make something like this. Um, so there's this stuff, you can like shoot off fireworks that hit stuff, that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, it's, it's by no means a step-by-step -step, like tutorial or anything like that. Uh, they have that as well, I went through some tutorial stuff. Um, this does some things as far as like showing you like circuitry, like when this happens, have this happen, which comes into creation. Some basic logic kind of stuff? Yeah, exactly, yeah, okay. yeah which, you know. When you get into creation, you can adjust the brains of everything, so the brains of, you know, enemies or items or levers or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is basic leveling up. Uh, I got a couple abilities I'll show you here. Um, once this guy stops doing goblin things. Okay. As the bell tower tumbled, spark flew into action. Using its mystical powers to yeah, it sparks me, a little thing. Let me guess. Around. Spark is like the essence of creation. Yeah, something okay. like yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> would you, would you, is that something you'd refer to as hippy dippy? 
Nah, it's, no. it's more fantasy weird crap. Okay. <laughs> but certainly, it's not hippie, you know. it's certainly not for cool guys. No, no. Okay. I mean, if we're talking about like healing crystals and stuff and chakras, that's hippy dippy. Uh -huh. that's, that's new age idiot stuff. Okay. So I can do this thing. Wait. Wait. I thought it was X and A. Oh, good lord. I've been playing Bayonetta 2, and ah. X and A is my big thing there. Uh, oh, wait, it's A then X, or X then A? Oh, it's X then Y? Oh, yeah, there it is. Ah. Okay, so yeah, I can do these sword things. Uh, so I've got those four kind of yellow things that charge up up there, and so when for each one of those, I can double tap B and do like a shield slam to give me health. Um, and, and that's stuff that unlocks as you level up, like you don't really have any of this stuff at the beginning. But yeah, a, a lot of just weird frame rate hiccups and things like that that seem odd to me. Yeah, like, like you said, it doesn't necessarily seem to be pushing the fidelity that would no, no. cause it to hitch like this. Uh, when I hit Y, I can summon this dude to shoot stuff. He's, he's the guy that summons my demon swords or whatever the, those are. Uh, but yeah, this, this is not a mode that, you know, again, I went through the whole thing that comes with the starter pack, which is like five or six levels. And it it's nothing really. It's not terrible. It's not broken. So even what you're doing right here is part of the starter pack. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you get any levels at all with the free version? It's got uh, to be something. You know that I'm I'm not entirely sure on yet because I had the starter pack to begin with. Um, my understanding though, like we'll look at the main menu here. Um, I guess you probably get the gist of this now. We can yes. we can back out of the story mode. Indeed. There's the first. There's one one you just saw. Um, but we'll try to ascertain what's going on with the free mode once we get back here. Yeah, some longish load times. Mm. Uh, the the menus themselves and, and the UI are not fantastic. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I, again, I, I like the idea of this game. I, I spent several hours with it, and I, I don't think I have had that much fun with it. Um, and I, I just I don't think people will like these tools as much as like Little Big Planets. Um, Always with the knight. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Show the goblin a little love sometime, man. Nah, a little goblin weirdo. Uh, okay, so I'm going to exit out. So, yeah, it says, let's try this here. Okay. It says edit from here. Remixing oh. is so much fun. So, look at this. You need to unlock extra content to remix this world. So, oh let's see what boy. that... Oh, boy. So, to do that, to uh, it looks like... So, what are you buying here? The Village Festival. Um, unlock this content oh, wow. pack. Oh, so yeah. So, specific you need... elements in the level oh, that you need to buy? you're going to see a lot of that. Hang on. So... Huh. Okay, so here we go. Uh, to buy this, it gives you fireworks, props, effects. Uh, it lets you kind of dink around with this level here. And so you can buy that with either silver, which again, I've probably played, I'll say five, maybe more hours of this game. Okay. And I've got 14, so I don't even have enough to like remix this level. Oh, jeez. And that's what comes with it, like the festival banner and the tent and the fireworks. And like, it's just festival themed crap, basically. Uh, or gold here. Which, let's see what the deal is. Okay. So there you go. You'd, you would have to buy the gold, which, how much is it? It's 500 to unlock that. So just this pack. Is so it five, five bucks? bucks? I think so. Yeah, yep. five bucks just for this festival stuff. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Um, a bit grindy. Yo, boy. Yeah. Especially, bit... And the grindy stuff is not fun. Yeah. So uh, I'll show you some of this menu stuff and everything. Um, so yeah, it looks like they're going to have this Goblin Wars episode come out later on. Um, can't really see the price or anything yet on that. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll hop in. We'll try to find like a community game and see what people are All doing right. with it soon. I mean, that's, uh, that's really what I'm here for, to see if anybody's done anything insane already. Yeah, do you, do you want me to try to find a community game first, or do you want me to um, show the creation itself? My self-indulgent side just wants to see some cool stuff people have made, but, you know, I'll leave it up to you. Well, let's give it a shot. We'll, you we'll go to some... Here's top rated the last seven days. Hulk versus Hell. If that's Hulk Hogan mm. uh, fighting his way through Hell, that sounds pretty good. That's got a pretty high average rating of 8.1. We, we should probably... We should try to fulfill Caravella's Law of 1-1 one, one and see if we can find 1-1 one, one in here anywhere. What? <laughs> Vinny... <laughs> Vinny asserts that every oh, Mario? every user generated thing oh, in history Mario one one. will have a Mario one one in gotcha. it at some point. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> See if anybody's gone that far yet. But um, you are supposed to make two uh, D side scrollers with this thing. Spark so. Souls. Oh really? Should we try that? Spark Souls or uh, Hulk versus Hell? Your call. 
I kind of want to see what's up with Spark Souls. All right, we're going to go to Spark well, Souls. Well, it does say just combat demo, but... You still want to go to it? Yeah, let's see what it's about. All right. Great choice. Yeah, it's got tagging and all that stuff for making me A Dark Souls-themed and... game. All right. Four classes, 15 weapons, six summons. Functioning bonfire. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Spark Souls main game now in production. All right. Contro wait, keyboard supported? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't even think I knew the Xbox One supported keyboards. <laughs> uh, well, there's your bonfire. Yep, that, that looks like a Dark Souls bonfire. Do you know, do you know if, if you were to jump into one of these user-made levels that contained assets you didn't own, can you still play it? Or do you have to? Surely you don't have I to buy those. I want to say yes, you can, because okay. I've played a few community things, and all I have is the starter pack stuff. Okay. So. All right. Uh, I'll use a controller. Uh, well, uh, we'll just get in there. Yeah. This is taking a long time just to go between things. I'll be my... Wow, Ooh. deprived. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Let's, so there's the Dark Souls... Uh, wow, that's the UI, yeah. That's totally the UI. That's kind of cool. Wait, what is this What crap? is this about? Fire? Different weapons? Oh. Huh. Well. Goblin Dagar. I want to have a big sword. Not that you one. You don't want that a weak, weak sword. No. Knight Strong Sword. Strong Sword. sword. That, that sounds up my alley. That sounds promising. Okay. Uh, I can't swing it yet. Am I just... Oh, oh is this starting? Okay. So this spawns. Let's do this. Spawn. Spawn. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Cool. Uh... Uh... Uh, whoa. Okay. Uh, I, uh, hmm. uh, <laughs> are you sure you picked up that sword? I, I hit B. I didn't see it in your inventory, though. Let's see. It ain't there. Weak sword's there. Yeah, totally picked it up. Hmm. Pick up an axe, too, while we're at it. Uh, let's just go forward. Wait, is this like Dark Souls items? Estus Flask? Wow. Green Blossom. This is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. This is... This is actually really interesting. I wonder what the... Let's try the bonfire real quick and see what the options are. Up. Wow. They're really going for it. Yeah, they, they put some work in. Yeah. All right. Okay, now. All right. Let's yep. Go, let's go kill stuff. Yep, yep. I wish B would just go back. All right. The starter pack comes with, like, an Arctic-themed, uh, mm. like, land that you can use. All right. Let's do Dark Souls. Pull the lever. Oh. All right. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, going to spawn some fellas to fight here? Sure. Anyone? Cha. No. I can do that. Yeah, you're oh, burning. Oh, it's got a stamina meter. Yeah, you're burning stamina. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, so it looks like to unlock. I'd have to download oh the Knight's God. Barracks here. 40,000. 10, 10 bucks worth of or stuff. Or 10 bucks. Yikes. Yeah. Well, and Wait, is this on. all missing? Like, look at this. Knight's Barracks, keys to the castle, rustic shield, like... It sounds like all this is missing. That's a lot of stuff. So it looks like that's like 25 bucks worth of stuff. Yikes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, well, oh, oh it looks can, like I can jump right into other stuff see here. See if we can find something a little less ambitious. Yeah. That may be a little more functional. Let's just do that. Uh, I'm not going to rate it because I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> I don't know if I was fucking up. Yeah. We'll go to that 8.1 thing. Um, yeah, we'll try Hulk versus Hell. All right. People seem to like this. Yeah, that's way up there. Help Bruce Banner fight off the Demon Horde. That's, you know, that's also a pretty good Hulk. Uh, yeah, yeah. Looks good. Is that Avatar supposed to be Bruce Banner? I don't remember him being a blonde fella. I don't think so. All right, I'm Bruce Banner. Yep. That's sure me. Sure are. It's exactly of hell, having gold. My village. Exactly how I remember him. Yep. I'm going to punch these demons. You're going to make me angry. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Come on. Uh. Yep. Okay, I need to kill a hundred demons. Uh, no Y attack on him. He can roll. He can probably double jump. Seems like... Wait, maybe not. Most things are double jump from what I've seen. Yep, so that's what I'm doing here. I find it a tad concerning that this is the top rated thing in the store. Yes, it is. Granted, uh, it's I mean, only been, it's out, a few been days. out a couple days, right? Yeah, and, and there's a lot of tutorial stuff to figure out. Uh, it's, it's got some complex stuff going on. But again, I have not seen anything that's much different than run around and punch these goblins while the frame rate gets choppy. Uh, I mean, I, you know, the Dark Souls thing, for as little it, as you were able to exploit it, seemed pretty ambitious. I ambitious for sure. Like, yeah, I mean, like creating that stamina meter and tying it to yeah. your, your in-game actions and stuff. Like that, that's kind of crazy. I have no doubt that if people spent a lot of time uh, digging around with it and really learning the systems, they could probably make some really impressive stuff. Sure. I'm not going to kill a hundred enemies. No, I, you know I'm fine. Yeah. With that. So I'll go into the uh, okay. That was impressive, I guess. Um, I'll go into the actual creation stuff, of which I again am not great at. I was never great at it in a little big planet. Um, we will go back out. We will go to let's let's look at the marketplace first. Browse for new items. There's always more to explore. Is there really? Yeah, in life, yeah. There's always mm, new experiences, new things to do. Uh, I've pretty much seen it all. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so you can get like Spark Premium for, you know, like two times XP, two times wow. credit. Yeah. Which, again, 3,000, what, 500 is five bucks? That's 30 bucks mm. for an XP boost. And man, there's just. Yeah, so there's the, the starter pack. Wow. So that's the Champion's Quest, Void Storm Adventure, Sir Hakon the Knight. Let's see what else comes with it. So this is what I have Yeti's Rage. Yeah, that's right. I got like astronauts and stuff. I like their tuna. I don't tuna? know why. It's a good tuna. Something about that tuna design is just doing it for me. It's, it's a solid tuna. So yeah, we will hop in here. Uh, I'll continue just this stupid little world that I've been making. Uh, it's fun to mess around in just kind of this big sandbox with stuff. Um, I have not made anything close to a fun to play game or even short experience yet. I got some squirrels on islands. Okay. They're sitting there. It's where they belong. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, let's call it how it is. We've got four squirrels there. And then... Uh, guarding your little archipelago there. Yep. Yep. So I think my intention when I was making this was the player would start over uh, over there. At the end. Yeah. And then have something to do going up here. Oh, yeah. So you can hop in and you can test at any point. So right now, your playable character... Oh, wait. I, You're an acorn. I didn't mean to turn it into an acorn, but, <laughs> but yep, you play as an acorn now yep. in my game. I don't oh know how God. that accidentally happened. You may, you may have just hit on the newest <laughs> indie sensation. Oh shit! But there's squirrels everywhere. You're an, oh, ac <laughs> You're an acorn that has to evade a bunch of ravenous squirrels. <laughs> it really speaks to the pathos of existence. I, I don't know. I accidentally. I did not mean to turn it into an acorn. You're supposed to be a fish that floats around. Uh, I don't know why I turned into an acorn. Let me see if the squirrels hmm. attack me. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey. On a... I'm, a, I'm a nice, tasty acorn. Oh, yeah. I gave that one a brain to where he like always jumps or something. Lightly toasted. Come on, guys. Hey. What's up, squirrels? Mm. Nothing? Are you scared? Are you scared of me? <laughs> All right. Cool. You? You look pretty cool. All right. Uh, yep. This is my acorn game. Uh, that squirrel seems confused. Yep, yep. So I'll show you what you can do with some of this like brain type stuff. So uh, let's say the squirrel here. Hop in here. First of all, you can like go around and you can. Ch oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> like I said, I really am not a big fan of this interface. LB. So now I should be changing. Maybe it's scale. Oh, I'm in the paint menu. I need to. I need ah. to be in the uh, prop menu. All right. So now I can like this. Oh yeah, giant squirrel. And then, uh, let's see, so I can move him around. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I <laughs> I haven't played this since yesterday morning, and uh, you can tell I'm not great at it. Okay, edit. You. Uh, 
Oh, is it R? I told you what hit Y. Oh, it's right trigger. That's right to move things around. You move stuff up and down with Y and X. So you can hit left trigger to boot stuff to the ground there. And then, so this will go into the brain. So this is the logic. Whoa. So you have multiple pages here. So, like, what is this saying? So for each apple you detect, uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is. So th this was like a default brain here. So if I wanted to, I could go into a brain gallery. Brain. Okay, then I hit this. Brain gallery. And so I can have it be like, this will be like a typical third person brawler enemy huh. or something. Or this person, yeah, if you bump into it or something, it'll take damage. Uh, or like, you know, let's say I want to put a signpost in the world that heals me. I can put that down and I can adjust the brain or whatever of the signpost or a, a nice squirrel or something. And if I bump into it, you get a full health or whatever. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll try to make him explosive. Uh, okay. You sure that's a good idea? I want to test it. I want to run that acorn into that squirrel and see if he blows up. You may be toying with forces that weren't meant to be toyed with. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Brains? Uh, okay, so you go there, and then I'm gonna. Oh, I can just. Oh yeah, oh, that's a lot of it's oversized squirrels. Now oh, we yeah. are talking. Oh dear. Do you have a. You must have a budget. Is that what's going on at the bottom down there? No. So down there, this is actually really cool. So the way you can undo is you can do one at a time. Oh, if I just hit the uh, whatever the fucking, I'll just call it the back button. <laughs> just the three lines or whatever, or the two. Rectangles. Fuck, I hate those. <laughs> um, so if you hold two I square button. The one on the right is the menu button. Yeah, and then this is view. But I still can't the, the left, view I button. Think. I think. Just fuck off. Like, I, I hate that so much. <laughs> Just call it start and select, or I was used to back by the time we yeah. switched over. Uh, but I'll hold in the back button, and then I can use the right analog stick to kind of scrub. So that's okay. kind of my undo. So I can, like, go back. Like, I want to go back to when I put these guys okay. here. Or I can go all the way forward. Well, that's like, kind of a neat idea. That's it's really nice. That's really easy. Um, and okay, so yeah, you can uh, you can set coins down and everything. So these are all the props. Uh, okay, so now I'm placing coins in the world here. How about some fish? Uh, some fish. We can we can put some fish here. A lot of tuna. Let's make these fish big. Okay, that's not a tuna. Mm. That's a, what is that, a flounder? Uh, clownfish? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know. So you got a bunch of them. And you got Eesh. some of these guys. Tiny people. And so I set it up to where the victory conditions are you have to get to the top of this mountain, or like the summit on the mountain. Uh, so we'll try to get my acorn <laughs> up there. <laughs> Acorns don't roll uphill, man. Oh, that's the the main villain there. That, that's a bad guy. Uh, oh yeah, I put a bunch of coins in this little cove. Yeah, like there's some water inside here. Yeah, yeah, that's all fun stuff. Uh, that's what they call an Easter egg. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yep. <laughs> this is a fun game I made. You were really good at the game you made. I am. And then let's hit this. Yeah, I won. <laughs> <laughs> And it fades to black. <laughs> <laughs> so you roll an acorn Man. into a flag, it tells you to suck it, and it's over. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> you could be making the big bucks out I there. I know, I know. Well, Rockstar's been calling me. Designing the next Minecraft. <laughs> See a regular old notch over here. <laughs> Forgot about the suck it. All right, so like, there's, <sighs> there's weird tools and stuff here to where you can, uh, like, I can cubify. So oh, I can, wow. I can, like, Minecraft it up that, here. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> that was way cooler until you mentioned it was just a Minecraft feature, and I was like, "Oh, wait, right." <laughs> but it still, it still it's looks cool. cool. I like, yeah, I like doing that. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can do it to props, but like, yeah, just the land, you can do it. So that looks pretty cool. And so, is this what it's come to? Like, the youth are <laughs> incapable of understanding anything that's not yeah. built out of like perfect cubes. Their eyes can't see it, but watch. This. I really oh. like this undo. Yeah. Can yeah. you? Can you cubify the, the the characters? I don't think so because it wouldn't let me do it to that tree. So I'm thinking props you can't. I'll try it real quick. Probably not. No, nope. see it's doing it to the ground yeah. below them. Uh, so yeah, the actual like land stuff is pretty cool. Um, so right now, yeah, so I, I'm basically built on ice here. Which, let me show you. Um, 
is one of the things that bugs me here. So let's say, because I originally wanted to make a desert world. Uh, I was originally going to be ambitious and try to make uh, the first level of Air Force Gator uh, in, the, in the canyons of Afghanistan. But uh, I went to the deserts, and look at this. Ten bucks mm. for desert blocks. Oh, no, sorry, this is the desert pack. So this gives me Desert Sparrow and these things and trees. Yeah, it's just the whole desert theme, basically, for 10 bucks. So keep going to the right here. I'm curious if there's, like... Okay, so there's at least... What is that? Is that music or sound effects? This looks, Either or both? Looks like both. Looks like both. I was curious if it's just assets in these packs or if it's, like, you know, unique brain behaviors or anything mechanical that... I have not seen that yet. That would actually let you make different things, you know? Yeah, that I'm not sure of. Or if it's basically just a different paint job for the stuff you're already making. Right. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty easy to, like, I just want to make something boxy. I can go over here and do a... Um, yeah, because now I'm on grass. Uh, that's that. So, yeah, you can use the D-pad to go between stuff and whatever. But, yeah, it's pretty easy to, like, just... Whoa! On. Yeah, whoa! And then uh, there are tools too to where you can, like, so this is smooth and roughen. So, right now I think I'm technically like polishing this stuff, but I could, uh, I could make it all rough oh. and crumbly like that. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's pretty easy to just, eh, well, I want this whole thing to be crumblier. Something you can do. So I mean, it's kind of fun just messing around with the train and stuff. And again, with time, uh, not just a few hours like I had. You know, it's. I'm sure there's some cool stuff you could do with like enemy behavior and, and things like that. But uh, you know, my my short time has mostly been just kind of dinking around with this type of stuff. So I wonder if you can download this for free and not put any money into it, and still play everything that people put up. Like, obviously, you can't play the levels that came with the pack that you bought. Right, right. But I wonder if there's... I mean, is there anything to stop you, I wonder, from just checking all that stuff out? Uh, you know, again, I've, I've not been able to try it, uh, so I'm, I'm not entirely positive about that. Um, I, I, I have a feeling that... I feel like if you do it for free, you can play everyone's community stuff, and then hopefully, you know, you'll get enticed to, like, oh, God, I can make this stuff and buy these packs. Ah, uh, this would be so much better if... And then you buy the thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this So you can change it. Yeah, like painting grass on this and stuff. Like some of this stuff is really cool. Yeah, some of this stuff looks nice. Like that, that kind of randomness in the terrain looks looks pretty good there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really easy to just kind of like change the textures and things like that. And like uh, that mountain I made just, you know, just with these tools you've just seen. So I just, you know, painted the grass on it, painted the snow on it, made it icy up top, did the roughing tool and everything. And, uh, you know, if I decide I want to... A road. It's as easy as this. So it's right trigger to expand, and then again you can adjust the size of the the tool and everything. It's pretty easy to oh. do this type of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if if you're the type that really likes kind of messing around with this stuff, the tools are there if you've got the time. Um, I might I might give it a week or two and then see what people have done. Yeah, especially not, like if you can just download it for free at home yeah. and everything, you know. I'm not I'm not going to make anything myself, but if nothing else, I am glad to know what this finally became. Yeah. Like, because it was it I think it was E3 last year when they first showed this off, right? Was it an E3? I want to say that, yeah, yeah, they it showed was guys. Last year, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, it was. And I remember seeing this at some like event here in San Francisco right. uh, like earlier this year. Right. I mean, it's it's been in beta for a while now. Yeah. Um it was on it was in beta on Windows even longer ago. Yep. But but I mean, as a final product, you know, like, it's nice to see not only what it became, but also how they're making money off of it and stuff like, like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's cool if you like this type of stuff. You know, I, I really don't know if I'm going to spend too much more time with it. I don't know, man. I think you've, you've got a real eye for natural splendor. Do I? Jason, you, Jason, we need to cut this off right now. <laughs> what do you what? No, I'm just making a fade, tower. Fade to black, please. I'm just making a tower. What's going on? Jason, we, we really have to stop this. This is Project Spark. Thanks, Brad. Giant Bomb is a family website. Thanks, Brad.